Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Yesterday, I did a video on, you know, basic mistakes that cost us games, and that got me thinking because we all like to point fingers in other directions. In hey, don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here saying I am holier than thou. Anybody who's watched my streams, I generally blame the team. But recently, I've been trying hard not to do that. And the reason being is because I am slowly coming round to the conclusion that we need to take responsibility and accountability for our own screw-ups. And that's what this video is all about. Breaking down your own gameplay and starting to work out what you could have done differently. Now, I'm going to show you this replay, which is interesting, and then I'm going to show you another one. Already I have, I, 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 I've screwed up here. Okay, I've brawled with a Progetto, I've missed a few shots, and I've lost a lot of hit points. That's my fault. Now I can sit here and say I had no support from the team, but it's my fault. I shouldn't have brawled with him. I shouldn't have been where I was, and I shouldn't have been you know, trying to make shots that were pretty tricky, to say the least. Nobody else is to blame other than myself. Same with taking the shot from the crown wagon. I mean, or the Emil, sorry. Why was I sat in the open? That's my fault. I can blame the team till I'm blue in the face, but it's not their fault. It's mine. And this is the thing. Now, a lot of people, and I've seen other YouTubers, a lot famous and more successful than me, doing videos on the worst teams in Blitz. And that's got me thinking, if you really are a good player and you think you really are a good player and your stats show you really are a good player, then you have a role to play in the battle. And that role is not to make stupid screw ups like I'm making here. Now, I know for a fact I've got to be good on that. Now, I think here that the E100 hit me. It's not the E100. And that's again my mistake because I didn't read the team list properly to begin with. So I'm forgetting they've got an E4 right down there. Who's now going to wreck me? That was my error. I can blame the team till I'm blue in the face. The team blew this, the team didn't do that. But I was the catalyst to my own demise in that game. And that's the thing. You need to start playing your game, okay? You need to stop relying on the team to carry your sorry backside. Something I am guilty of myself, by the way. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I'm perfect, because I'm not. I did pretty okay there. did 4K, got a third class. Camps didn't do anything, but he, he's a novice player. He's relatively new. He played to his ability. Same as the E50, I mean, he played to his ability. E75 played to their ability. These guys played to their skill levels and their ability levels. It would be unjust of me to argue and shout at them, to be perfectly honest. So I have to look at my errors here, and I made a lot. But as I said, the biggest error there was I was out of position. I was brawling where I shouldn't have been brawling. I've only got myself to blame. Same goes for this game. Now, this is a ratings battle. I'm here in the Progetto, I'm going to the normal spotting position, get a good shot in. Now, I can see that, you know, they've got tanks on the other side and they've got two tanks in the middle. And I'm trying to snapshot them. It's never going to work, okay? It's never going to happen. So, I'm actually now, funnily enough, in a relatively bad position. I've been spotted. I've got a tank to the right of me. I've got two tanks to the left of me, and I've got two tanks right in front of me. So I'm faced with a choice here, and I make the wrong choice. I decide to brawl, stupidly. Again, I'm trying to get those shots in, thinking, yeah, I've got the gun depression, but I'm just overcooking it. I get two lucky bounces, but then again I go for a shot that I shouldn't have gone for, knowing damn well I'm never going to pen the meal. So a little bit of calm comes back, and I'm sat there thinking, no, I'm in a bad position, I need to relocate which is what I do. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of time here to reload my gun. So I'm trying to calm myself down. I'm trying to get rid of that nabbish, you know, brawl, shoot, 
tunnel vision, and I'm trying to find a better location. I get smacked by something big there, thankfully. I bounce it. I think they snapshot me. And again, I, I'm sat here and I can't get shots. I can't get shots into that shark. I don't want to peek my head around that corner again because something big is there. And I can't get shots onto the things in the middle. I snap that one, completely miss it. So again, I've got to fit, sit there and think, I've got to do something differently. So, I do. That's exactly what I do. I'm going to come around and I'm going to put shots into the VK. And there goes number one. There goes number two. And maybe third time is a charm. Maybe, just maybe. So, I'm calming myself down here and we're getting into a better position. Now we've lost the T30. That's a big gun. Now, he's a really good player, by the way, the guy in the T30. And he made the mistake that I made, which was brawling in an exposed area now. So... I'm going to go around and I'm confident now I can clip out the VK and I can clip out the Bulldog. Is it a Bulldog? I think it's a Bulldog. I'm not sure. And I'm going to be able to clip out him. I think. Yes, I can. So, there we go. We're, we're bringing it back. We've got a gun advantage. We've got a base advantage. This is where I make my next fundamental error. Now, I should have gone up and out with those heavies, but I don't. And the reason I don't is because I'm looking at the minimap and I can see I've got a heavy on the B-cap. And I think that heavy is going to support me. I misread the map because he's on the other side. He's not on this side. Now I get a little bit lucky here with the Emil, finish him off because I've got a bounce. But my error has already been made. I'm now stuck. I've got a shark to contend with. And the heavy coming in is a VK 168, which, let's be honest, isn't exactly quick and doesn't exactly have amazing DPM. So I totally screw that up okay i do good damage okay i get three kill i uh, get three kills but that's not the point here i'm a medium i'm meant to be farming for the team and i'm relying on the team to support me when i shouldn't have done that now had i have played that differently and gone for the heavies the game may have turned out differently i don't know we lose our shark the vk will finish off the other side shark given time which three on three now it's two on three but that's going to even it up in a moment with two on two we've just lost the object now this is where it starts to go downhill the poor old wt is now under pressure he fluffs that shot against the k91 and now everybody starts picking on him and you know the guy's already under pressure I'll be honest with you. He misses that shot, and now the K91 is going to be able to put a shot into him. He does. He gets away with it. It's a bit of a low roll. That one is also a complete fluff by the K91. But everybody's now giving this poor old WT a hard time. He is under pressure here, which is it's unsurprising that he's fluffing his shots because what he's doing, he's rushing and he's trying to snap. And he's doing that with the added pressure of his team hurling abuse at him. Now, there's no reason to hurl abuse. And keep your eye on what the M6 is saying, the experimental, because it's hilarious when we get to the end, as you will see. So the M6 is really giving this guy a hard time. He's calling him a retard. In a minute he says, you missed so many shots, etc, etc, etc. And this poor WT now has all to do. He is effectively a one shot to the E75. The E75 has got a pretty decent hit point pool and he is not a one shot to this WT. So it's, it's not looking good. Thing that's in our favor, one is points, two is time. All the WT needs to do is hold his nerve and stay away from the danger. And still the team is giving him a tremendously hard time. And, you know, the guy's already under pressure. He's already got 101 different things going through his brain. The last thing he needs is the abuse that's being thrown at him. And you may think it's not, it's, it, you know, it's not nasty abuse, but it's abuse. And it's not going to make you confident. In fact, it doesn't. And watch, he's going to snap another shot and completely fluff it. Because he's being put under so much pressure by his team... There's not much he can do about it, to be honest with you guys. He does the right thing here. He's going to run away. And, it's, and again, they are still 
having a go at him. They're still ripping into this poor, poor player. And he's doing the right thing. He is doing the right thing. You know, it's the game is not lost. Look at the time, we've got 15 seconds. We're up on points. If the game wins, if, the, if it stops now, we win. I tell him, just go to A. Don't listen to them, just go to A. Doesn't need to, one second left, two seconds left. Uh, boom, it's all over. And we win, courtesy of that WT. Now this is what I wanted to point out. So the M6, it was very vocal. Look at that, he did hardly any damage. He's a good player by the way, but this is the thing that makes me laugh. I'm gonna click on him. Look, four shots fired, only two of them hit. So he missed his fair share of shots as well. But it was fine for him to have a go at the WT. Poor old WT, not a bad player, uh, you can see here. You know, okay, he missed a fair few shots, but he was under pressure. Anyway, thank you WT for carrying us in that game. Hey guys, I've been Fujit. Well, that's just been a quickie on, you need to go back and break down your own replays and look at your own gameplay. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, remember, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.